Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be guiding you through a morning slash evening yoga stretch. So if in the morning when you wake up, maybe you feel uh, stiff or maybe you just feel heavy like bricks, uh, today's class is really going to help ease you into motion to help melt that stiffness away. And on the other hand, if you are looking to wind down, sort of escape from your busy day, today's practice will not only help to relax you, but melt the day away, so to speak. So. If that's you, you're looking for a nudge to get your day started or you're looking for that escape at the end of the day, this is the perfect practice for you. I hope you enjoy it. You will not need any props and I will see you on the mat. So starting in a tabletop position, tucking your toes under, we'll take a variation of toe squat, more relaxing variation. So once your toes are tucked under, bear your weight back onto your heels. So your hips are resting, resting on your heels. And from here, drape the belly on top of the thighs. And you can stack fist on fist and let the forehead rest. You can just stay propped up on your forearms. Gently rocking side to side. And lifting the gaze and from here we'll just open the knees up rock forward tuck, untuck the toes so your toenails are now pressing into the mat and then send your hips back towards your heels finding your full expression of child's pose here nice deep breaths into the back body Belly is soft. Next inhale, gently lift the gaze, push into your left hand, take your right hand, palm faces up, weave it underneath the left, draw that shoulder down and away from the ear as you bring your right shoulder, right temple to the floor. You can take your left arm up, bring it onto your low back. Gently release, bring the left hand forward, unravel the right arm, extend the right arm up, out in front of you, take the left arm underneath this time, palm faces up, weave it under, left shoulder comes to the floor, and then you have the option to bring that right arm up and around. Next exhale, gently release, extend the right arm back out in front of you, unravel the left arm, 
and come up onto your forearms. Take a few cat cow in a child's pose. So inhale, belly drops, chin lifts. And as the chin lifts, pull the forearms back. And exhale, round. Tuck the tailbone under. Push the forearms away. Inhale. As you inhale, try to drop the chest to the mat. Pull the forearms back. Lift the gaze and imagine you're pushing your head into the ceiling. And exhale round. Chin to chest. One more inhale. And exhale round. From here, push into your palms and pick up the elbows. From here, round forward. Shoulders come a little bit beyond your wrists. Inhale, exhale, tilt the tailbone up towards the ceiling and then slink back. So slink, 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 reach with the heart. Hips come to the heels at the last moment. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, tilt the tailbone up, slink the tailbone back. Reach, reach, reach. And as you reach, pull back on your fingertips. Feel a little bit of tension in the spine. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, tilt the tailbone up and sling back. Inhale, round forward. Maybe this time you straighten the legs. And exhale. Slink all the way back. From here, walk your fingertips in. Close the knees. And we'll come to find a seat. Bring your right shin parallel to the top of the mat and bring your left foot in towards your bum. So instead of keeping both shins at a 90-90, you're just gonna bring that back heel in towards your bum. From here, take an inhale and exhale to fold over that right, right shin. A nice big inhale here. And sigh it out. Gently push into your palms to walk yourself all the way back up. You're going to extend that left leg out beside you and then draw the right foot in towards your groin. Inhale to lengthen here. And exhale, take your left hand to the outside of your left leg and bring your right hand to your hip. And you're trying to coax that right hip down towards the mat as you reach to the left. Open the shoulder and chest up so you wanna avoid collapsing towards the mat. Just gonna hold it here.
So you can stay here or taking that right arm up and over and reach. You can bring your left forearm to the top of your left leg or you can bring your temple to your fist. It's totally up to you. Inhaling here and let it go. And as you exhale, rotate the torso so that you're facing over that left leg. Again, you're still coaxing that right hip down towards the mat. Nice big inhale here. And side out. Gently walk your hands all the way back up. Taking that right knee now, and we're going to bend it back. So you're bending it back. That left leg is still out in front of you. Inhale here. And this time you're coming diagonally down. So we're not coming over the leg, we're coming straight down the middle. push yourself all the way back up. Gently lean back, unravel that right knee, and bring the left knee, left leg to meet it. So bringing the left leg, so your shin is parallel to the top of the mat, and bring your right, right knee behind you, and your right foot can come in towards your bum. Inhaling here, and exhale to fold over your left shin. A nice big inhale and sigh it out. Gently push your hands back into the mat and walk yourself all the way up. From here, you're going to extend that right leg out beside you and draw the left foot in towards your groin. So you're going nice and tall, inhale. And as you exhale, reach the right hand behind the right leg as you bring your left hand to your left hip. Open the chest, open the shoulder, holding it here. Stay here or reach your left fingertips up and over. You can bring your right hand to your shin. 
or make a fist and bring your temple totally up to you. Remembering to keep that chest open. Let's take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, turn the torso, framing that right leg with your fingertips and folding over the right leg. Something that helps me is if I take my left hand to the outside of my right foot, right ankle. Inhaling here. And let it go. Gently walk the hands all the way back up. Taking that left leg now and you're going to bend the knee back. And instead of coming back down over the right leg, we're coming down the middle. push into your hands, walk yourself back up, unravel that left leg from out behind you, bend both knees, and we'll come to lay down onto our backs. From here, draw your knees in towards your chest, gently rock from side to side. Finding half happy baby. Bring the right foot to the floor. Grab a hold of the pinky toe edge of the left foot for half happy baby. And gently pull down so your left elbow is to the inside of the left foot. You can keep your right knee pointing towards the ceiling or allow the right knee to drop open to the right or straighten the right leg. Gently bend the right knee if you had it straight. Bring the sole of the right foot to the floor. Gently release the grip on the left foot and just maybe you want to wipe the knees from side to side. We'll do that now on the other side. So bring the sole of the left foot to the floor. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. Grab a hold of the pinky toe edge of the right foot for half happy baby, drawing down gently as you allow the left knee to drop open to the left or straighten the left leg. 
just glance down if the leg is straight and make sure it's actually in line with your hip and not somewhere else. Gently, we'll, if you had the left leg straight, bend the left knee, bring the sole of the left foot to the floor. Gently release the grip on that right foot as you bend both knees back in towards your chest and gently rock side to side. We'll take a brief twist from here. So cactusing the arms or teeing the hands, or sorry, teeing the arms, draw the knees in towards the chest. Let's draw both knees to the right. Gentle gaze to the ceiling, you can place your right hand on top of the right knee, on top of the left knee, sorry. Bring the gaze back towards the ceiling, draw the knees back in and up. We'll do the other side, dropping both knees to the left this time, gaze to the right. Gaze back towards the ceiling, drawing the knees back in and up. We'll take double wind relieving pose from here. So drawing the knees in nice and tight towards the chest. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. You can wrap your arms around your knees, grab onto your feet. I'm gonna squeeze nice and tight here for three. For two. Last one, nice big inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, release. Finding your resting pose. Bring your arms out wide. Let's take two cleansing breaths here. Nice, big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. As you lay here, really trying to match your inhalations with your exhalations.
So matching the length Texture of the breath. Noticing the warmth as it passes in and out of the nostrils. Really letting go in the feet. The hands. And the chest. Nice big belly breaths in and out of the nose. Slowly inviting little flickers of movement back into the body. Wiggling the fingers, the toes. Rotating the ankles, the wrists. Maybe gently nodding your head from side to side. Bring your arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, bring the legs t together, point through the toes, reach through the fingers, reach, 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 reach. And on the exhale, just let it go. Bend the knees one by one, rolling onto your side. Cradle the head and the arm here. And gently push yourself all the way up to a seat. Bring your hands to prayer. And from here, take a nice big inhale to lift the heart towards the palms. And on the exhale, humbly bow the chin in towards the chest. I hope you enjoyed today's practice, whether you decided to do this in the morning to help with stiffness, mobility, just to get yourself going for the day, or maybe it was your way to melt away stress, wind down for the evening. I hope you enjoyed it regardless, whenever you decided to do it. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment, let me know how you got on, and I will see you back here for another practice.